Alrighty, hello ladies and gentlemen. It has been a couple hours, a little bit probably more than four or five, but it is still time to get into this. Tonight we have playing the North American Ultra Team. It is a bit of a kind of a hodgepodge of old boofgangers and some other players that are from kind of the older times. Use some of the top players that were pickup game players or just overall top performers. All playing against the a brand new Turkish team. Bit of an unusual location, and uh, I think a first in this region. They are the Turkish North Stars, or the Kuze Yildiz, as I believe is pronounced in Turkish. I, I'm probably going to end up butchering most of the names as they are partially in um, Turkish, but I will try my best to try and pronounce them all out. If it is a little bit off, feel free to correct me in chat. I will try to pronounce it as best I can, but of course, being American, you know, butchering uh, foreign names is kind of a specialty. So. In any case, looks like they're getting things ready to go here. We're just waiting on the last two players from the North American Ultra Team to connect in. Currently, we have Boy, Fit Out, and Good Boy. We need the rest of the the Ultra Team to actually arrive in. So in the meantime, uh, be sure to hang out for a little bit, and we'll get started in a few. So we'll be right back. I'll be right back, at least. Well, let me know if the audio is bugged out. I, I went and did some changes for the uh, audio uh, quality. The Quality, I guess. Let's see if it's any better. Let me know if it's bugging out and we'll try some other stuff.
All right, looks like we're gonna be getting going soon. So with the map reloading, I'm gonna have to just real quickly tab back in here. Just quickly pick out an outfit. I'm not actually gonna be playing. Don't worry. You have to spawn in and select a weapon, or else you'll get uh, this is spectator glitch basically. So with that, once we're ready to go, it looks like everybody has connected in, so it should be just a little bit longer, and we'll be uh, ready to go. So. For those who are coming in now, again, this is the North American Ultra Team versus Kuze Yildiz, which is the Turkish Northern Stars. We are playing Tell for this series, which is going to be an interesting map. This has yet to be played competitively, so this is the first actual showing of it as a competitive map. Uh, I believe a while ago we had some competitive Sinjar at one point. It went about as well as you expect. But this is the first showing of Tell as a uh, competitive map, so what will happen? Who to predict who's gonna win or not? Who knows? This is, I believe, this is Kuzilda's first match being streamed. I don't know how they did last time. I think they played against JF, who I've also never seen before. So, could be easy, could be hard. We'll have to just wait and see how it all shakes out. Back in just a little bit. Let's say, hit the button. There we go. All right. So when they're ready to go, we will hop in. So for now, just hang out while they uh, goof around a little bit. So we'll be going in just a few minutes. All right, looks like we're live. Let's go ahead and hop in game. This is for the pistol round live. Just disable that. Turn the game game body, the game audio back on, and then turn up the volume a little bit louder than like four. Seventy-five sounds pretty good. There we go. The rustling of the gear is always a good sign that things are ap happening. And here it comes the action. Who's gonna be the first one into combat? Barton will get on the B objective first. And looks like he will get this first kill. Oh, he actually gets a trade onto Bayez Charaf as the team will get the kill onto Good Boy. In the meantime, we do have a flank coming in. Blue Berets is getting that objective captured up. He gets the kills one into Mysan. Fidel will trade onto Blue Berets. But we still have a... Actually, the team TR will get that kill onto Fidel. And it's all down to Aiparan. Actually, Boy is last up. 2v1. The team, Aiparan and Ergen still alive. Aiparan going for the kill. He will get that kill onto Nut Boy. And just like that, Kuzayildiz will get the pistol round starting on security. For this first engagement on Tell. That was a uh, interesting environment there. A bit of a haphazard showing there as everyone kind of flooded in, in and around the sides of B here. It's a very, very close quarters map and it's very, very small. So it's sort of a... It's an, it's going to be a very, very uh, aggressive map. I think we're going to see a lot of really fast rotations from a lot of the players and a lot of the uh, environments here. How it's going to play out for the real round and the real game, it's going to be a tough one to call. I, I think I'm going to give it to NAULT for the first bit here. No, we're not actually playing. Boop. There we go. Perfect. Part of the game, unfortunately, still got to hop in a spectator and do the thing. But it should hopefully be fixed with the next update coming really, really soon. I believe in like three days, which is very, very soon. So we're seeing a pretty common split here. We're seeing almost four of the... Actually, five stack of the EBRs. So... Various equips, yep, various options of those EBRs, not all quite the same. For Kuze Yildiz, we have Ergen, Begaz, Charap, Blue Berets, the team, and Aiparan, a new add-in this morning, or today at least. And for North American Ultra Team, we have Good Boy, 69, Mysan, Barkington, Fadoud, and Boy, playing for the North American Ultra Team. Who's going to win? Who's going to lose? Who's going to come out on top? We'll have to wait and see. This is the first time I've cast it on this map, so it may be a bit of a mess on cameras. Sorry uh, in advance, as it's probably going to be kind of a crazy one. I've never actually seen this map being... Uh, again, that last round was sort of uh, crazy hodgepodge of stuff happening. Here comes the aggressive stack here. Interesting layout. 
Barking with a nice pre-nade. Cooks it well. This could get a double kill action with the grenade. And he will get one kill with that one. Base shot up. We'll go down with that team. Double kill onto Good Boy and Barkington. Late game. Again, good objective control, good map control. Boy is coming in for the rotation. He will avoid the shot and will get the kill onto Blue Berets. But it looks like Ergen will trade. Fadal will get the kill onto, onto Ergen as Myson takes out the team. The team will trade, actually taking out Myson. Bit of a kill back and forth there. 1v1 now. Ipran versus Fadaud. And as we look here, looks like Fadaud is in position. He could get this surprise kill. Equally, Ipran is in position for this possible trade. He's waiting. He knows there's someone on B. He has to find out where they are. He's looking around. He's just playing it safe. Waiting for Fadad to make the aggressive push onto his position. Oh, and I put on will get the kill. And Kuze Yildiz will take the first round one to zero. Interesting map and interesting flow of pace. It's a very, very unique situation here where we have basically a lot of kind of a rat race around B with multiple tunnels, different access ways through the objective here. But it really comes down to that B presence for insurgents or for security. And we're seeing so far insurgents have taken a really, really good job of trying to counter things up. But security has a straight you know, shot advantage. Insurgents have a little bit of a tougher time getting across the sides it looks like. My son cooking up a nice nade there. A little bit early on the entrance. Nice double nade. They've already got the B cap up for Kuzildiz as Bayap, Bayaz Chorap will get the first nade kill of this round onto Good Boy. Blue Ray's waiting for that cross. Nice grenade heal. Actually, it's a grenade. Could he get a kill? But now we'll get the kill to Bayaz Chorap though in the meantime. But team looks like the team TR will get the kill onto Barkington. As Fadal will take out Ergen, trying to push a little too aggressively out towards B. Blue Ray's is already on the objective. Have to get the cap up. Fadal is coming into block, but Fadal will get the kill onto Ergen as Alp Ipadam will get the kill onto Boy. To the team will get the kill onto Fadal, and it's all down to just Myson. Gets the kill onto Team TR. One more to go. Oh, Blue Berets will take out Myson. On your knees. And Kuza Yildiz take another round, two to zero. There we go. Bumping the keys as it usually happens. So far, it's been a really, really security sided push here by Guze Yildiz. They've gotten really good control of B. Insurgents are trying to get out of these sides, but because they had that map advantage and security side advantage at least, they're really preventing anyone from the NAULT side to even get around for the flanks. They've really made it such a dominant control of B here. It's been an interesting performance. Let's follow Barkington. Oh, he will take some shots there, but unfortunately, it looks like the damage just wasn't enough for the kill. Good boy will get the kill in the Blue Breeze in the meantime. Nice grenade for Barkington. Gonna get a kill. But looks like that will not be the case. Ergen will get that kill onto Fadoud. Barkington waiting for that player to push. And he will wait nicely. We'll get the kill onto the team. Covering out the flank. And a nice kill from Myson will take out Ergen on B there. Now held up on B by Bayaz Chorap. As it looks like Ipadam will get the kill on the boy. Bayaz gets another kill onto Myson. And it's all down to just good boy 69. Held up on B. Oh, he gets. He almost gets the kill on Bayaz Chorap. It's almost there. Close. Very close. Goes for the reload. I put on coming in for the flank. This could be big. I put on could probably see his head if he peeks out too aggressively here. Good boy will get the kill to BS Chorap. It's now does his I put on and Good Boy last alive. Looks like Good Boy just kind of pre firing everything. Will he get that objective cap up? He will indeed. And that saves the NAULT side. This could be their first round. It is still a one it's actually a one V five now for I put on. He's held up on B. A good boy will get that kill. That's the first round for the North American Ultra Team. One to two. All right, really strong performance from the North American Ultra Team there. Unfortunately, Ipadon is a little too late to get on B there. If he got on a second earlier, it might do. That was a that was a tough one to try and push against uh, Good Boy there. If he was a little bit earlier, that probably could have been the uh, round for 
Kuzield is. But still, that was a tough one to try and play against. It's a very, very unique map. Um, it looks like Kuzield have actually played this map before uh, as a team. I highly doubt the North American Ultra team has actually practiced this map at all. Completely. Oh boy, though, nice long shot. It looks like Ipran will get the kill. Couldn't, go, couldn't quite land his shots, boy, unfortunately. Good boy does get the kill, though, onto the team. As Barkton waits for that push on the side. Good boy, double kill, actually, onto Ergen and Blue Berets. And that is just Beaz Charap, the last alive for Kuzi Yildiz early on for this map. This round. Oh, Fadao with the flank. We'll get that kill and tie up the game now. Two to two. All right, fantastic and aggressive performance by the North American Ultra team. They have, they figured out what their bearings, they actually have an idea of what's happening. And I think we're gonna see them really start to open up and start doing a lot of damage, a lot more than they were probably before. We'll have to wait and see. Let's go ahead and follow the team and see where they're going. It's been an interesting spread of rotations on this map. It's so small that with the uh, high buildings in place, you really don't have a lot of grenades you can pre-throw. It all comes down to this kind of rat race around B. And good boy pushing dangerously close inside this uh, terrain here from Kuzayildiz. He'll go for the flanking. He will get the kill on the team TR. I put on will get the kill on the Fidoud. Good boy really playing aggressively here. He'll get a second kill onto Ergen. As Blue Berets takes out boy. Looks like Maison will get the kill on the Bayaz. Shot up on the side. This is still Blue Berets. Last alive now for Kuzayildiz. Ops rotate out and around the side. Bark is his position to counter that, but it looks like Maison is waiting for that push. He, could, he couldn't get taken out of here by Blue Berets. But if that happens, looks like Barkington is going to be there waiting. He seems shaking. He's getting his muscles warmed up, ready to go for this push. I th don't think Blue Berets has seen him yet. There we go. He sees the player, gets the kill, runs fast on. Oh, he does not see the player on this backside. Oh, no. Barkington will get that kill. And North American Ultra Team takes back the lead. 3-2. So that is two rounds in a row now, actually three rounds in a row, that North American Ultra Team has won. It's been an interesting exploration of the map. We've really seen Kuzildas try and change things up a little bit. They should be a little bit more dynamic. I think around the A to B side it might be pretty effective. It looks like Barkington, and specifically Good Boy especially, he is known for being a very, very aggressive sort of an in-your-face player, and we've really seen him kind of grow and evolve with that. See what he does on this next round here. Interesting Molotov on the top side. Looks like a nice pre-fire for Good Boy. Not going to land a kill. But we'll get some uh, suppression in. We'll kind of indicate the position. Piaz Trap will punish Good Boy, though. Pushing a little too aggressively as Blue Boy will get the kill as well onto Fadoud. I put on waiting for that cover up above. Not going to find anybody just yet, but Boy will get the kill on the Blue Berets in the meantime. Are going to cover his teammate there. Not a bad idea, but the team... Ooh, he's in position here. My son will get the kill on the Piaz Trap. We still have more players alive to go as Ergen will get the kill to Barkington rotating in B, but Boy will trade, taking out Ergen, as the team will then trade Maison. Leaving to just Boy in a 1v2 scenario. This is the team, and Ipran versus Boy. As we can see, oh, looks like Boy's name will actually take out the team as Ipran comes in from the rear, takes Boy, and ties the game 3-3. What an interesting matchup and performance we've really seen from both teams. This is such a dynamic and fluid map. I would be surprised to see it played again because it's almost like ministry, but almost like super sized, sort of super shrunk down. It's almost like a micro map in a way where you have these little rat races back and forth between the main V objective here, which is basically a big square. It almost feels like an aim map in a way. Although here comes the, I think Inciderium Mice on one to throw. Interesting Inciderium as well on their entrance. My son is taking a little bit of damage. It looks like Ipan will get the kill to fit out his good boy. And my son will take out the team and Ergen. Blue Berets will take out Boy. Trading it up at Boy will also get the kill onto Blue Berets. They actually trade back and forth there. So it is a uh, a neutral kill in total. We have to try that though. He will get flanked. He will get the kill onto good boy. Pushing a little too aggressively there. 
And it's down to my son of Barkington. But yeah, nice, good game sense to read that rotation, but not able to get the kill onto my son. And it's down to I put on the last alive in a 1v2 scenario. Is I put on versus my son and Barkington. Here comes the grenade on the backside. Looks like they're both cooking grenades. So I put on throws up for close B. I put on almost getting naded there. Smart play to play it a little bit passive. But normally you see the people playing pretty aggressive as it is competitive. Facing a 1v2. He knows there's one on B. Not sure where it'll look. Looks like he's kind of trying to. You think he's on the right side some. Because the peak, you get the kill onto Mice on one to go. He sees the player, he gets the kill. I put on, comes in clutch. He takes back the lead, four to three. Fantastic performance there from Ipadon. Really, really good clutch. A little bit slow to getting on the objective, but obviously it worked out well, because considering most people would probably play that a little bit more aggressively and then die to that grenade that was cooked by uh, Barkington pretty well there. So good read, good play, and ultimately that last little push there. That was the X Factor, Quinton of the Round win. Let's go ahead and follow, uh, let's follow Barkington. See what he's going. We followed Barkington. We followed Good Boy and My Son so far. Let's go ahead and follow Barkington on this round. Looks like he's going for the outside C objective. Just three basic lanes. Oh, he correctly found out the objective here. Blueberries will get the kill into My Son. Running in danger close. Ooh, we're going to kill the Good Boy. Oh, Fadal will get the trade onto, onto Blueberry there as Nut Boy will get the kill. Yeah, shut up. Fadal will get taken out pretty quickly afterward. But Boy comes out on top. Oh, but looks like Barkington will get the flank onto Ergen. Oh, and Ergen's grenade from the death will get the kill onto Boy from the dead at least. And it's down to Barkington last up. You can see him pushing here. It is a 1v2. Barkington versus the team and I put on good grenade on this the objective here. It takes a little bit of damage but will stay alive. Barkington with them. Oh, Kobe Molly on to I put on but the team will come in clutch and Guse Yildiz will take the round 5-3. What an interesting map and an interesting uh, battle we have here. We have a basically a map for the most part. This is a very, very limited in terms of strategies. You can see from both teams. Go ahead and hop into spectator mode and fly up here. Bravo is such an interestingly small map that the combat for it's a little bit limited. You only have one of two or three places you can really push out from, which means if you can molly incendiary this, you pretty much have this area blocked off for the other team. As we've seen from up above, we've seen both teams basically mollying these entrances here. And with security getting there definitely first ahead of B, it means the surgeons are going to have a pretty big disadvantage on the retake. Re Bayaz trying to pick the kill on the good boy in the meantime. Looks like Bayaz will push him a little aggressively, but looks like that will push. Will uh, get the kill on the blue braze. Himself pushing a little too aggressively there. Bayaz waiting for this push. Looks like the Molotov going a little too far there. Or the kill on the Mysan. Bayaz taking some damage from that enemy. A little bit danger close. Goes for the spray down. He knows the player is dangerous. He's spraying around there. Couldn't quite get the kill though. Fidel will get the kill though on the team TR. Is the team. Ooh, and Ipadan will get the nice uh, support kill onto Boy on that backside. But Fidel will get the kill onto Ipadan, rotating outside B. Fidel still held up on B. There is that player there. Bayaz Charap is nearby. And Fidel will get the push and kill onto Bayaz Charap, leaving it to Jest. Ergen last up. He gets the kill to Barkington on C. And just like that, Kuse Yildiz will respawn. Bit of a waiting game here. Ergen, nice kill onto Fadal, last alive. Trying to stop C a little, little too late there as Kuza Yildiz will take the round and build up the lead three rounds, six to three. What an interesting, uh, it, it's such an interesting match and performance from both teams. Uh, Kuzi does really have the good tactical strategy to them. They've really got their strats figured out. Aiming and stuff, obviously North American Ultra Team definitely got a little bit more of that in their favor. But the, I think the late game strategy of this map knowledge, it seems like Kuzi does have that strategy nailed down on how to play this map. Good to be a side thing too, but still really good performance from both teams. Really good com really good clutches. It's definitely something that I want to see from a matchup. Insurgency. Good boy, early nade kill on the Bayaz Trap, stopping that B push a little bit early on. 
Meanwhile, for now, we'll get the kill into Urken as Boy will take out Icon on that flank. Blue Braze is in a good position to actually get a nice flank in. Only problem is he's going to be spotted if he goes for something a little too aggressively. A is actually being capped up partially by Boy. It's a little bit interesting. Blue Braze going for the retake on A. The drop though is going to give it a position away. It's going to be pre-fired and Boy will take out Blue Braze rotating and it's good. Boy will take out the team. And just like that, the North American Ultra team take a round and end the half with a four round deficit. Because the yield is six. North American Ultra team four. So, that was the half. We have now swapped sides. Currently, Kuze Yildiz are up ahead by two rounds, which we'll see how it plays out for the next half. This has been a very, very close game. It's been a really, really intense one on this map. I would love to see some, uh, some other teams as well play this map. This is such an interesting aim and rotation map that is so unorthodox compared to most insurgency. It's a very, very good changeup and really good... Uh, it's very, very interesting. I'd love to see uh, some European teams and some American teams, especially some of the top teams, try and play this without any strats or callouts. It's really made it such an interesting kind of crock pot of different strategies. My son will get the first kill of the second half onto Ergen. As we can see, Smoke is blocking off most stuff there. Good will get the pick onto Blue Berets. In the meantime, looks like on the backside here, we have a bit of a interesting scene happening here. Whoop. Wait a second. For some reason, it was red. I don't know what happened there, but North American Ultra Team does secure the round win, five to six. I'm not sure what happened there. I don't know why he was flowing as red. I thought it was an enemy that they caught in behind, but I don't. I don't know. It was a weird one. We'll have to wait and see how the next round plays out. But North American Ultra Team. Trying to stop that lead from forming by Kuda Yildiz, although three round a lead so far from Kuda Yildiz as currently the highest lead. Pretty, pretty good. I'm not sure how much the North American team is playing that actively, but so far the performance has been pretty good. This is such an unorthodox map though, it's been a bit of an interesting uh, experience to say the least. Good boy though, pushing fast with that Mark 18. Mark Barkington will get the nade kill onto Blue Braves as Good Boy waits. Or an insurgent push a little too aggressively. He goes for the push. He will get that headshot onto Bayas. Shot up with the honey badger. That's for now. We get the kill on Team TR. Ergen will get the kill on the Barkington Boy. Trading. I put on Ergen. Oh, getting taken out by Good Boy on the flank. And just like that with the 540 rotation there. It is a tied game. 6-6. Six to six. What an interesting dynamic. It's been a very, very, this is a very fun game to watch. Definitely one I'm going to be uh, watching the VOD on a couple times because this is a very, very interesting match, in my opinion. But anyways, let's go ahead and check the kill feed and the scoreboard. Pretty high kills coming out from a good boy and for Dowd, of course. Barkington out struggling a little bit. Boy going positive, but still not too much. Good amount of kill spread through the other team as well because he is. Looks like Bayaz Trap will get the first kill onto Good Boy. It looks like they have actually taken control of B this time on the surgeon side. A little bit tough to do, but Bayaz Trap, a nice shot through into Barkington. Fidoud will trade shortly afterward as Mysan takes out Ergen. And Blue Braves will get that kill into Fidoud. Mysan looking to try and get the, the uh, I guess the counter. I don't, I don't know if I forget the name of the counter kills. Here we go. The refrag is the term. Nice headshot on Bo from Boy onto Blue Berets there. A little bit late to B as the team will get that B cap up, bringing back four, actually three people from this team. But I put on will get the kill onto Boy, leaving to just Mysan in a 1v5 scenario. You get the headshot on Team TR, that's four to go. Make that three to go as he gets the kill onto I put on. Two more from Spawn. We'll get the kill onto Beaz Trap. Two more to go. Swaps for a new weapon. Here comes the last two from this objective here. Ops will switch back. Uh oh, he's about to get pushed right here aggressively, but they run the... Oh, they sneak past. It's still a 2v1. Ergen and Blue Rays. Oh, early pre fire by Mysan. Make that a 1v1. It's down to Ergen. He knows where Mysan is. Is this clutch happening? Mysan with the pre-fires. Getting risky. He's getting frisky. 
He's wanting to get this. You can see they're right here. It's about to go down. Does Ergen win this or does Myson win this? And Myson wins the 5v1 clutch. Takes back the lead, 7-6. All right, the not live has been called. It looks like there are some technical difficulties with the North American Ultra side. They only have three of their five. Looks like some people might have crashed out. Let's go and check out Kuzo Yildiz. Running pretty good KDR. Eight and 14, not the greatest, but still 11, 13 from Ergen and Ipadon running 11 to nine, really, really solid. And of course, Mysan coming in clutch 14 to nine. That was a really, really good retake on B. Really good capture. This map is uh, a very, very aim-heavy map, which is a lot of fun. Usually with maps, we'll see a lot more strategy come out to where it's like, if you have the wrong strategy, you're just kind of dead already. You can't really fight it. This map, though, the strategy is basically run at them and shoot them all, which is my favorite kind of strategy. So this is a... Uh, I, I, I want to actually... It'd be fun to play in this map. I'd, I think it'd be a lot of fun to play pickup games on and a good map to uh, do things on. So I hope it'd be cool to see this in more rotations in the future. Looks like they're getting their loadouts situated and sorted. So once they are all ready to go, we will have to wait and see what happens here. Looks like they're getting their stuff lined up, loaded up, ready to roll here. Only Barkington waiting to go. Of both sides equipped all their weapons, ready to rumble in the jungle of Tell. Looks like they are alive. They are ready to go. Currently, it is a North American Ultra team with a one-round lead against Kuda Yildiz. It has been a relatively back-and-forth game. And usually, one team will get three rounds, and the next team will get three rounds, and the next team will get three rounds. The map's not changing, so it's not like there's a really big uh, for or against in terms of randomness of the map. It is basically just team performance has been a little bit up and down. Teams picking each other out, figuring out the other things. Early pre fires and pretty as well. Good boy will get the kill onto Ergen as good boy will get the kill. Actually, a double kill while flashed onto Blue Berets. Interesting performance there, an interesting uh, play. Eventually, though, the team will get that kill onto Good Boy. It looks like Blue Berets couldn't quite get the full kill there in the early engagement. Hypeon, though, is covering his team very, very well. Looks like the team will get the kill into fit out as Bay as Sharp will get the kill to Mysan. Hypeon looking for the wall bang on a player that's already been killed, unfortunately. Didn't call out where that player was, I'm guessing, by that other teammate. The team is trying to guard B. He's not quite on the objective yet, though. There we go. He, he's now on the objective. Holding up the B capture from Barkington. But they have the nice double team here. Boy, could he get a double kill or get killed pretty quickly? We can see a nice flick by Boy onto Bea. Shout out. I put him. We'll get the kill to Barkington. Making it a 1v2. This is the Boy. Oh. Let me get the kill. Nice. He finally gets the headshot onto I put on. It's a 1v1. The team versus Boy. But the team knew where he was from the beginning. And ends the round with a tie, seven to seven. Interesting performance and really really good clutch and good retake there. That solid teamwork on B is making the difference with Kuda Yildiz. Kuda Yildiz. Apologies. North American Ultra team are playing really well. They're playing very aggressively like it's an A map. But against a strategy that, like Kuda Yildiz that they have on B and on the map, it's going to be a tough one for them to actually get this kill. Looks like an early smoke to try and cover their uh, flank there. My son will get the kill on the Brew Brew. Brew, 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 it looks like Apron went right into Good Boy. And it's not just Ergen last alive in a 1v5. And Good Boy gets another kill on Ergen. And in less than 30 seconds, North American Ultra team take back the lead. 8 to 7. What an interesting uh, engagement there. Really just saw a good boy going on an absolute killing spree. He had to advantage his kill death ratio being so low. He now made it 4 to 1, which is 
Pretty dang crazy. I'm sure it'll be officially tracked and kind of corrected with the actual stats of what's actually happened. But still, 4 to 1 KDR. Pretty impressive. Let's go ahead and skip Boy's view as he tends to just see an empty wall there. He's watching a pretty safe angle there. Looks like, oh, my son of Pedal get the kills onto Ergen and, and the team. As Bark to get the kill onto Blue Rays. Looks like Ipran trying to find the shot across. It's good, but gets the kill on Ipran. Again, that strong B push by Rothbuck and Ultra Team kind of destroyed uh, Kuzi from even starting in the round. I think the passive play is really kind of biting them a little bit. But Bayaz is in position for this flank. Oh, and Fidao takes Bayaz Trap's head clean off. And they take the round 9 to 7. So something interesting about this map and these teams that are playing right now. What I'm seeing a lot is that Kuzla Yildiz are playing relatively passive. They're going to the spots they need to at the right times. But because their passive play is sort of uh, a very... It's similar to European in, in some ways. But because it's a little bit off time, which is in a good way. It's really kind of thrown off North American Ultra Team to really kind of play a little bit more aggressively than they may should. But ultimately, I don't know why it keeps going to boy. We're going to follow good boy. The part of security has such the advantage to here. They get to this position first. They can get there. Oh, Blue Berets will get the kill into Good Boy as team will get the kill into Fidao. My son will get the kill into Ergen as Blue Berets will also take out Barkington. But boy, will take out Ipan on the flank. And it looks like, I was going to say security had the advantage on B, but they just kind of lost it there. It looks like for some reason, Blue Berets beat them to that B objective. Boy is waiting. They're actually calling in game the positions using the voice comms. Unfortunately, we'll give away his position. Team Charlie does get the kill to my son. Bayaz Trap though within B will get that kill onto Boy, and it looks like Kuzi Yildiz will take the round eight to nine. Here's the ping difference for those who are curious. We have pretty much 50 and 60s to New York 1. And about 180, 160, 160, 172 from who's the yield is from Turkey, which is an impressively far distance away to get this kind of ping. That's really, really, uh, it's awesome it's that close. Or it's that, uh, that good at least. It's, I, I expect 200 plus. Usually when you start dealing with multiple regions past kind of the Russian kind of area, the, the start of the Russian side usually gets pretty bad where it gets you know, plus 200, but still very, very good ping. This is definitely, uh, terrible. That's what I remember, but good boy will get an early kill onto Blue Braze as boy will get a nice kill there as my son will take the nade kill onto Ipran. My son get the nade kill onto Bayas Charap. Looks like we're seeing good boy kind of wonder where he wants to rotate to. He has a couple options. On that backside of B, a good boy will get the... Oh, goes for the kill, but Team TR will actually get the kill on the good boy there. My son taking out Ergen. It's now a 1v4. A oh, Team TR, last one alive. 1v4 scenario. He's watching his rear in a good angle. He's waiting for the jump kill. He flicks onto my son. Uh-oh, he's going to rotate right into Fadoud. And North American Ultra Team at match point now. 10 to 8. Alright, so North American Ultra Team are now at match point. They cannot lose. The most that we have with Kuzi Yildiz will be probably a tie. Yes, and they are the North American Ultra Team, aka the Nut. Well, the NA Ults, technically, not the Nuts. Because it's NA Ult. They're not the North Ultra Team. They're the North American Ultra Team. So, not quite Nut there, but uh, close enough. If I say so myself. Ooh, good boy. Double kill. Onto Blue Berets and Bayaz. Shut up. Pushing aggressively into B. That is something good boy does a lot. Fidat is providing good cover, though. This nade could get the kill. Oh, it looks like good boy will get the kill before it even happens. This boy will take out Ipran. Barkington takes out Ergen. And that is the game. The North American Ultra Team take their first game in this matchup here. 11 to 8. On Tel East, I believe. Yes, this is Tel Firefight East. Against Kuzeildas. GG's. Here is the kill feeds. Those you're curious. What an interesting match. That 
I, I really am excited to see how this team will play on a little bit more standard meta map. Obviously, Tel East is, I think this is the first time it's ever been played competitively in a match environment for sure. Uh, I don't know if it's been played in Pugs before, but looks like Kuzi Yildiz had some practice on that map. This Firehouse East, what an interesting map. So, for those who maybe are new to the game and wondering what's going on with this map being uh, somewhat familiar, is this, this is Firefight West, so let's go away. This is Firefight East, I believe, yes. This is the one that has the bridge and the long pre-fires. Over here, we have Firefight West, which is a very, very small map. It's big in comparison to the map we just saw, which was basically one in room. It's basically a courtyard in here and then a bunch of little, like, rat races around the sides from the spawns. Oh, man, I want to see that map played again. That was, that was a cool one. So, I think we're going to have a bit of a break in the meantime while they get resituated in the servers. Farmhouse West as a map. We'll do the break in a second. I'll talk about this map some. This is a map that is core to the meta of Insurgency Sandstorm as is guns to the game of Insurgency. This map is basically played by everybody all the time. It's a little bit stale as Insurgents have a very, very clear grenade advantage from this position here. They can throw it and throw it onto this... Whoop, let me go to the side here. They can throw it onto this position here, to the ridge here, side here, side in here, side in here, and side in here. They don't... They can't throw grenades, as far as I remember, at least into here. Well, I'm sure it's possible if you cook it at the right time, so it can prevent most security pushes. The back side of the objective here, though, is fair game for any security. Insurgents have a little bit more on the back side as well here, but the only problem is you have this insurgent, or actually the security advantage. You have this area called China, I think it's called Chinatown, might just be called China. From up here, and they can shoot across in towards B. Nice little access port here. Shoot their shots where needed. They can also shoot across anybody leaving spawn from here on the respawn wave. And of course, anybody who's trying to push outside here and get in position, try and get some shots across. You won't see it too often for people covering uh, covering that position from up here. Usually it'll be down below in here. As if you are right here, you have a lot more wide access area. The only problem is you can't see as well into B. You have a, a straight shot, sure, but you have this big tree in the way. You have some stuff in the way. You don't have that up above in China. So, people here are going to be covering for the push coming from this side. Coming from the street side. Anyways, that will be it for a little bit here. Go ahead and check out what is this message? Oh, looks like we have a new server. Let me go ahead and hop in there. Yep, I believe they are swapping to the German server. Which one we'll see in a second here. Do do I am zooming. Let's see. Oh, refinery. Nice. This map, a little, a similarly small sized map. I'm a little bit more in meta. All right. Ah, uh, if I can type. Here we go. All right. Looks like everybody was in all waiting for me. So that service from the first time we're in New York. Uh, Tatonian, I believe your name is pronounced. It's been a long time. So. All right, looks like I'm let, letting the people on the horn know that we are ready to go here. Alrighty, so, oh, bit of a frame drop there, swapping and alt tabbing, it can be like that sometimes. Alright, so, we have, again, the interesting lineup of North American Ultra Team versus Uzi Yildiz. This is a much more meta map though, we're going to see, I think we're going to see NA ults, especially for those first couple rounds here, really going for standard cross picks, they're going to probably have a more of a public player strategy, in which, not that they play like public players, but, uh, they're going to be playing a lot more, we're expecting them players to be a lot more of that kind of uh, mindset. So a little bit more off, kind of off position. The timings will be a little bit slower, if I had to guess. But we will have to see. Hey, Burger Town. Yeah, the Nalt. They're not terrible, but they're, uh, they're, they're an interesting dynamic, that's for sure. Let's go ahead and start with this. This is the Pistol Round Map 2. 
Dark Knight 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 team versus Kuze Yildiz. Barkton with the parkouring out the objective here. There's some shots raining out. Boy will get the first kill onto Blue Berets as Iparam will get the trade onto Boy on B. As Barkton will get that kill onto Ergen. But we still have... Oh, make that two kills for Barkington. On to be as trap, leaving it to just the team. I put on, I put on, on B will get that kill on the Barkington as the team will get the kill on the Mice in the meantime. It's now a one, well, it was a 1v2 there, but I put on, will get that final kill on the Fadoud. 4k for I put on, on the pistol round as Kuze Yildiz will take the pistol 1 to 0. So we'll see what side they want to start on for the actual match. Okay, they opt to stick on the insurgent side for this first half of the game. Not a bad call to make. Should restart the map in a minute or two. Well, sooner, technically speaking. They have to restart it because the game is a little bit. Uh, you can't if you reset it as a normal game, it won't quite load. It'll it'll like keep some stats and stuff that you don't want. So, and with that being the case, of course, that means I have to pick a slot. Yep, 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 yep. There we go. Alrighty, so Kuze Yildiz versus the North American Ultra Team on Refinery. This is such an interesting map and a very, very close game. I can see this going either way. Oh, <laughs> I I tell him in game, but um, no, I, I I keep the voices off for anything streaming related. Yes, for the record, I do keep all voice comms off because people have tried to say things that weren't stream appropriate on them before or hop on a spectator and then start saying it because it doesn't show up on screen that you're talking. It has happened before. Nice. So, oh yeah, they are. So the first map was played in New York since it was going to be a little bit better. Uh, Tautonian, just so you know what's going on. First map was played in New York because we had such a high ping differential of being at least 200 to probably 60. The first map is going to be, or the first series is going to be in New York. The second map will be in Germany, which should be, it'll be a little rough for me because I'll probably be above 200 ping for the most part. That's why you'll see the little red Wi-Fi symbol here on the right hand side. I can't get rid of that. That's just part of being on the West Coast, trying to stream matches on a mostly European servers. It happens every time. We can't turn it off. All that can do is move it from the left to the right side. And you see that, I believe, here. I can't turn that off. I can either make it to the center center right side or the top right. So, sorry. Can't get rid of that. I've been asking about it a couple times, but uh, that's how it goes. It'd be a great feature for the next update, New World Interactive, if we could turn that off so I know... Because I know I have a high ping. It's... This, I can't not code a different server for this. You know, it's, anyways. Or have a mode that turns it off. It'd be very nice. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into this. This is the actual live match we are now playing. This is the North American Ultra Team versus Kuze Yildiz. And follow Urgen to push fast into B. Actually, three triple stack B. Oh, and good luck at the first kill up this game onto Urgen. As we have Ipran coming in for the flank. A bit of a plank there. Boy will get the kill onto Blue Braze as that will take out Bias Trap, but good play with a nice flank as well onto Ipran. It's all down to the team on the right side. He will get the kill to Barkington, but has more work to do on B as no, looks like Mison from down below will get that kill onto the team. And the North American Ultra team is coming in with the first round win, 1-0. So, pretty aggressive push there on B. Unfortunately, North American Ultra Team are very, very well averse on this map. They know how to play B. And of course, you have the X Factor of Good Boy, who just basically runs around very similar to Link, although a little bit less um, methodical at times. Tends to run very, very, very aggressive all the time, which doesn't always work out in your favor. It works out 90% of the time, sure. But against a team that knows that you play like that, they can just kind of bait your position out to know you're going to run somewhere and kill you before you... Uh, Anticipate it, so you can't just go purely on impulse. You gotta have a little bit of thinking involved in that. Something I, uh, I struggle on myself. 
when I'm playing, but uh, it's an important factor. The Team TR will get that kill onto my son. Opening things up a little bit for Kazildas. Oh, and Blue Burberry is going to onto, not onto Boy there as Blue Burberry gets another one actually onto Good Boy. Clearing up B for Kuzayildas as it's down to just Fidoud and Barkington. Slow picking, trying to play it passive. Fidoud will get, he'll go for the shot, but will actually whiff against Bayaz Trap. Leaving it to Barkington last alive. He will get that kill onto the team, but Bayaz Trap will get the second kill onto Barkington. And that's a tie game for the first two rounds, one to one. Yeah, they woke up. Yes, Aaron, they did wake up at 8. I literally, their first message to me was good morning. They are up early to play this game, and it is fantastic to see. It is a nice Sunday morning, so it's definitely tough beating a nice uh, game of competitive insurgency in early in the morning. Get your fingers warmed up, get your brain warmed up, ready to go for the day. Sounds pretty great. Meanwhile, in the West Coast, and it's about 10 o'clock at night, so I'm probably going to bed for Saturday, but still, that's how time zones work. It's pretty crazy how the world works sometimes. Good boy, we'll get that kill into Ergen as Bayaz Trap will get the kill onto Mison on the lead time. Looks like Fidad waiting for that push. They saw a pretty heavy push there on B before, but really, really good strategy. So from Icon coming in for that aggressive behold. He's waiting for the push on that cross side, but is no one actually over there? You see, right now, North American team have really, really pulled back a lot. They've really played it passive. They're waiting for people to push aggressively. As Fidad will get that kill into Bayaz Trap trying to push a little bit himself. Somewhat aggressively. Oh, Ipan will get the kill onto Good Boy pushing into B. Again, Boy has to just come in here. He could pre-fire. He actually could wallbang this and get the kill. We'll see if they want to opt to do that. He will get on B to block. We'll go for the direct fight and Blue Braves will get that kill onto Boy. A ping differential there. I don't think you're going to have that. You're not going to win the fight against that. The team two are the in position. But out is watching B as I put on and Blue Braves will get the double cap up on B. We have Barkington. Actually, Fidal get taken up by the team on the bottom side there. Barkington. He heard that player nearby, but has already rotated out and away from danger. Now facing a 1v5 scenario for Barkington. This is going to be a tough one. Playing it slow, looking to get into B. Only 38 seconds left. Done a bit of a pre-fire. He runs right into Blue Berets, who takes him out. And Kuza Yildiz will take the lead, two to one. All right. What a fantastic performance by Kuza Yield is. They've really taken that American aggression, kind of sidelined it since we have such a high ping differential here. Winning the fight against a high ping like this is very, very unlikely, especially against a team that's planned and prepped. They're, they're really playing into that aggressive side and just letting them say, okay, here, come on in. We'll just shoot you as you're coming in before you can even see it coming. And as you can tell there, it was really, really good counters to that aggressive strategy. It's very, very effective. It's why Europeans do it a lot against the American teams that play a very, very uh, aggressive styles. Here's good boy with a nice prenade in towards B, but looks like they're gonna push through the street here. They wait for their grenades to pass and then go through. That is the proper way to play. Oh, and it looks like Ergen will get the kill onto boy. As my son will trade taking out Ergen on B. The only problem is it's gonna be a little tough for them to get through there. Barkington waiting for the push. Going for the interesting B play here. Barkington getting stuck on the objective. Burns right into Bayaz trap will take his head clean off as the team and Blue Brave will get the kill to my son and good boy. Leaving it to only Fidal, last alive. He will go for the kill, almost gets it, but whiffs his shot, unfortunately, on those players up above. He brings an IP, I, uh, Ipran, will get that kill, I'll get the capture at least, onto B. Good read, they know this player's up above there, but I don't think Kuzi Yildiz heard him rotate on that bottom side. He will escape, he will get the kill into the team, but will, could get killed by this other player on the upper catwalk here, but he will escape in time. So he'll sneak over to towards Charlie to get the cap up. You do have Ergen there, waiting for that cap up. There you go. You can see him now moving in to rotate to block. Here comes the slow push. But that is waiting for this push. Ergen. Here's the player down below. 
He's sort of waiting for the player to be pushing him directly, but that's not quite going to happen. Fidal is playing it smart. Although he is playing it very aggressive, which is a uh, trademark. A little bit of the uh, American strat. Clearing out the objective. 48 seconds left. Fidal will get the kill onto Ergen on C. Clearing it up, but he still has to go for another objective. He cannot get one objective and win at the end of time. Ipadon coming in for the block on C to try and hold him up. There you go. Ipadon gets on C. Fidal takes out Ipadon's head through the box there. Right, literally boxing him in. Oh! Fidal will get the kill onto one, but the team will get that final kill ending the round in favor of Kuzayildiz up again. Three to one. Alrighty. What a fantastic performance we're seeing come out from Kuza Yildiz. Unfortunately, North American Ultra Team are kind of stumped on what to do. They've lost a couple rounds in a row now, at least well, only two rounds so far. But they've really kind of struggled to get any kind of foothold on B. It might just be the ping differential not playing to that uh, aggressive style of strategy. They really got to do something a little bit different if they're going to get this round win. They got to think a little bit unorthodox from their usual strategies. That's going to be a challenge for them. Ooh, Bart, good bull, get the kill into Ergen. And here we go. Here comes aggressive push. Ipadon will get the nade kill into Goodbull before he pushes in there. Fidel will get the kill into Bayas. Right up in the meantime on that refinery. Oh, and Maxwell will get the kill onto the team as Boy will get the bottom kill. I'll get the kill from the down below. Beat onto Ipadon, leaving to just Blue Beret on B. Last alive. Blue Berets. Oh, gets taken out by Barkington. And there goes the round for North American Ultra Team. Two to three. And yes, I do. You know, it's a little. It may seem a little silly that they're running pistols, but uh, I I approve of the pistol strategy coming out from Kuzildas. Pistols are the stealth. They are the secret sauce that might just be what's allowing them to get the sure. timings to really counter the NA ULT side. Plus, pistols are always fun just to whip them out and shoot somebody unexpectedly with it. You think, oh, they're reloading. Oh yeah, they're, I can catch them out, and then you pull out your pistol and, and go for the kill. I have yet to see them actually use it. I think in game just yet. I'm sure they will have a uh, situation where they do use it, but uh, for now it's interesting. Barkington, an early pick by Ergen, running very aggressive into B there. As Good Boy gets the kill onto Ipran. Ergen got another kill onto Boy. Good Boy, last one alive as the double cap of B. The team can kill that as well. Oh, the free coming out. Oh, Ergen gets another kill onto Good Boy. Ergen unstoppable on B. And it's all down to Mysan. Will he get any kills is the question. Here comes the aggressive push by Mysan. The grenade. Be careful for that one. Oh, he runs right into Bayez. Shut up, Snade. You hate to see it, but Kuzay Yildiz will take the round. 4-2. to two. don't know if we have anybody on the American team playing on that yellow position. And I believe upper yellow, if I remember correctly, is this spot up over here. I believe this is top yellow where they shoot across into the catwalk here and into B. They're very, very good sight line and position. Let's go ahead and see the round as it unfolds from this perspective, actually. You can see it a little bit more openly. Good counter. Pretty good strategy. Fan fast to B. Urgent will win against Bison. We do have a player up here, actually. But Fidel will get the kill on the blue raise. My son's here waiting for that push. I probably get the kill on the boy trading him up. And B almost entirely actually going to the North American Ultra team. I probably lost alive. He will not get the kills. Fidel will get the kill on the I probably with a nice free fire there in B. They has shut up. Oh, goes for the wall bang. He will eventually get the kill to Fidel. There's one more to go on B. And that's coming from now below. Good boy will take out Bayaz shut up, leaving to just the team last alive in a 1v2 scenario. He will, will he get the kill? No, he won't. But looks like my son up will get that kill onto the team. Just barely getting that kill, but we'll eventually land it. Wouldn't that lead to one run right round? Let's make it team three. Kuzild is four.
Alrighty, what an interesting performance here. I keep saying it because it is the absolute truth. It is a uh, fantastic game we're seeing here. North American Ultra Team, a, a little, honestly, performing a little bit less than I'd probably expect. The cohesion is not really there. At least hasn't been there so far this game. We could be seeing it now. My son, early kill under Ergen, running straight to, uh, straight on the open there. Looks like it wasn't going to happen again. North American Ultra Team really are putting on the serious face. As Bayash right up, we'll get the kill to Fidal running a little bit fast. That's from B. Good boy, we'll get that kill in the blueberries though. As Good Boy gets another one, I, I put on on B. My son's waiting for that push. Looks like they've already rotated outside of that catwalk. Okay, there's probably somebody there. And my son really going aggressive. He will get that non ADS kill onto the team. Leaving to just Bayaz Trap last alive. Push out from catwalk. Facing my son as Barkton will get the kill onto Bayaz Trap. And it is a tied game, 4 to 4. Sand. <laughs> what an interesting. I keep saying I keep saying it, but man, I'm struggling for words to say because it's it's a very very uh, engaging performance, to say the least. And for the record, a Turkish. I don't consider that part of Europe. It's more Middle Eastern than uh, European. Although, it looks like the team will get an early pick onto Mysan. Ergen playing a little bit passive on B, not running out the street to try and get on that B cap up first. Here comes the flashes. Looks like a pretty good spread here. Looks like Good Book at the first kill onto Blueberries, but there's one more on B, and that's going to be Ipran for Kuzo Yildiz. But now we get the kill on Ergen. Looks like Ipran could get. Oh, could almost get the kill there, but Good Boy will get that kill to Ipran pushing a little too fast and th within B there. Bayash right up is sneaking around the backside, going for the A cap up, looks like, as the team, meanwhile, is going for that B fight. He has two players to look at. Oh, but he doesn't see Fidao there. His gun blocking his view there. Leaving to just Bayaz shot up the last alive, the 1v4 scenario. Bayaz getting the cap up started for A. Really ah. But looks like that is not all that they wrote. As Barkton comes in from down below, lower A. Gets stuck on the objective there, or on the, uh, on the furniture of the map there. They're about to get the B cap up for security. Here comes the push. They've double capped, or at least double blocked on B on A. Unfortunately, they're kind of stuck wondering what to do here. They have about to get the kill. He will get the kill to good boy. One more to go on A. He's taking a lot of damage. B and C are primed for security. If they need to, they can get on the objective and cap it up. If they lose this gun battle here, so it's Barkington. He has to come in clutch now. But he has showed up in a tough spot here. Oh, only pre-fire. Oh, and Bayaz Shut Up will win the fight against Barkington, but it will be too little too late as they will get the B cap up. They can go for the C cap up. Here comes the push from spawn. He's going to be held back quite a bit. Oh, it looks away at the wrong time. Oh, goes for the kill, but good boy will land it first onto Bayaz Shut Up with an early pre-fire. North American Ultra Team take the, take the lead, five to four. Sync predictions in chat. I'm seeing a good spread between uh, the North American Ultra side winning it on their server, and of course, Grizzly Yield is winning on their more favorite server, having the lower pings. I think we're seeing them really take a lot more aggressive approaches with Grizzly Yield is on towards it. North American Ultra team. But the thing is, the North American Ultra team are used to playing on high ping servers, and you're seeing them kind of adapt to that and basically pre fire before they see in order to counter that ping differential. And it is starting to show a little bit. It took them a little bit to figure it out, but I think they're kind of getting back into the swing of things. As you see, Good Boy pushing in fast. We get the kill to Ipran on the bike. Barkin will get the kill to Ergen. Good Boy will get another kill on Blue Rays as well. Clearing out Bravo in favor of North American Ultra Team. As Good Boy pushes in fast, he'll get another kill onto the team. Just like that. As you can see, Good Boy has adapted. He has created. It's not to be as trap on this lower yellow side. Gonna opt to go for A once again. But they did that last round. He can't keep repeating stress. Looks like they're already waiting for him. And my son will take him out on that rotation as North American Ultra Team takes another round and ends the half in their favor. Two rounds in advance. Six to four. Oh, 
All right. So, new half, new side. It's like a whole new team and like a whole new matchup. We're really seeing such an aggressive push from both sides. And, and for the record, I don't know a whole lot about which region and which sort of uh, country split Turkey would be in. Is they're kind of they're kind of in between a lot of different ones to where I, I would they're kind of I don't I don't know I genuinely don't know. So I would guess more Middle East than Asia possibly. I'm pretty sure the Middle East. It might just be Europeans goofing around. Who knows? But anyways, for now we'll get the early kill. Yeah, start up for the first kill of the second half. This is the team. We'll get that kill on the good point in the meantime. Ergen will get the kill on the my side. This boy will kick out Blue Grays. And Fadal will get the kill on I put on the B side there. Looks like North American Ultimate have secured Bravo, but they still have Urgent looking towards Kappa B. As the team goes on the backside, a nice kill there by the team onto Fadal rotating outside of B. Leaving it to a 1v2 scenario. Barkington and Boy versus the the team. Yeah, that one to make sure. Oh, Barkington with the one tap. Ends it just like that. And there goes the grenade. North American Ultra team take the round seven to four. Interesting. Well, no matter what region. Kuzi Yildiz and where Turkey is from, they are definitely welcome to play in here. They are doing a fantastic job against the North American Ultra team. They have really shown their stuff, and they are a strong contender, I think, for the rest of this uh, rest of the season here. They're going to be a very, very strong team. I think one of the top, they're going to be top two, top three. I think they're going to be a very, very good team, forming team here in the rest of the series and in the future. We'll see how long they stick together. My son, we'll get the kill to Bayaz Shut Up as Goodwill will get the kill onto Ergen as I put on. We'll get the kill onto Boy in the meantime. And we have a good spread of kills here. Oh, good point. We'll actually win the fight. This guy put on there as the team will get take off it out. Blue Brace will take out Honey Bat. We'll get the kill. Uh, take out Honey Bat. We'll get the kill on a good point. As team will get the kill on my son. Barkington will try to take out Blue Beret. And it's down to just a 1v1 scenario. Barkington versus the team. Almost lost who it was there in the fold. But the team has the advantage of the differential of pace of space and time there. Barkington has position given away a little bit there. Ooh, a little dangerous there, dropping like that. That could have been a death if it wasn't for that uh, bounce there. Here comes the Kobe. He cooks it. Is it going to land? No, it goes a little too far. Oh, he thought it went too far, but I was wrong there. The team cooks a Kobe right on Barkington's face and secures the round win 5-7. All right. Let's go ahead and follow. I put, I put on as he pushes a B here. So far, we've really seen a strong performance in both teams here. I'm saying myself get the first kill onto the team as Bay has shot up. We'll get the kill to Barkington as Ergen will get another kill as well onto Good Boy. We'll get a kill at least. Not quite the kill. Not kill. Just yet, Fidel will get that kill as well onto Blue Berets. Just knock over my drink. I'd hate to do that. They are held up a little bit by one player. With Michael Stream trying to find that last player there. Looks like they're a little bit at each other's teammates. Oh, I put him get the kill into Fidel riding fast into B. And it's not just Boy. Just like that, it is a round almost in favor of Kuzilildas. They still have one more player to go, and that's going to be Boy on B in a really good position here. The only problem is he can get a well banged. They know where he's playing at. He's about to die here. He has to make a move, and Ergen will take him out. Kuzi Yield is shortening the lead to only one round, six to seven. What an interesting performance there. Really, really strong kills. Really seeing Kuzi Yield is opening up things very, very well. North American Ultra team are now playing on the somewhat better side. I'm not sure who's going to win this one. Ah, Turkey is part of the Middle East. That's what I figured. In any case, let's go ahead and get into it. 
Oh, certainly having a bit of difficulties there. That does happen sometimes. Barrington looking for the cross pick. Will he see a player? Looks like he's going for the timing base one instead. Can not quite see the uh, player there visually. Early pre-fires as well on the catwalk. The team waiting for the push. Not going to find him, but a good point. We'll get the kill meanwhile onto Ergen. As Boy looks for the wall bank potential. He gets flashed. Ooh, this could be bad. But Fadao somehow will get the kill onto Brew Brazer, saving Boy's life. That looks like Fadao will get another kill on the base. Shut up as Ipanak gets a double kill onto Good Boy and Barkington. Nice to kill there. We didn't fortunately see that, but uh, we definitely saw it in the scoreboard as Fidel would take out Ipanan, wins the fight there, leaving it to Jess, the team last alive, trying to rotate out and in towards Bravo. Here comes the nade. Up in the backside of B. Boy is near here. Oh, he could die this, but he will survive at the last second. Now he's waiting for this push. Team trying to get a lucky shot across, and Fidel will take out the team. Building the lead up another round, eight to six. But out 4K? Wow. What an interesting, uh, interesting map and such an interesting match. I wish I had Cherry here to uh, color commentate on, on all the stuff I'm missing because I'm sure there's so much interesting counterplays, interesting positions that are happening here from both sides. North American Ultra Team really kind of throwing in the book. They can throw everything they can at the uh, Kuzi Yildiz and Yildiz. And it's been an interesting, just a very, very uh, different interpretation of things. It's very uh, awesome to see. Good prenates as well coming out from Kuzi Yildiz, or actually from, uh, sorry, from North American Ultra Team. My son will get the kill for that shut up. Oh, and Good Boy gets a double kill onto Ipron and Urkin on that backside of B as Blue Braves will get the trade finally on the Good Boy. Stopping his push in his tracks, but Blue Braves gets on that B objective almost. Let's get the cap started. Oh, he runs right into Fidal. Ooh, Fidal will win that fight. Danger close. Down to just the team. Last alive. Playing it passive on this backside here. The North American Ultra Team have been playing heavy B, leaving at least one or two people cat and basically focusing on that A B objective. They kind of left C open for the most part. But with that C cap up starting, they could actually leave it for a uh, for him to cap it up and then go for spawns. Looks like Barkington is rotating from upper yellow in towards alpha. There comes Boy with that B cap. And here comes the team capping up C. They're going to give away this capture, which is not a bad call to make. They have that A, they have the good positioning to counter any kind of respawn take. So, or any kind of respawn at least. So this is not a bad call to make. My son's looking to capture these rotations out of the objective. Good Boy catching the other side as well. This is a smart play to make. Looks like Good Boy's actually going to push him aggressively here. This might not be the call to make. This could not work in their favor. But we are seeing a really good push from spawn on the right side here. Expecting a camp. Or expecting the spawns to be pushed there. But, oh, Boy's in a good spot too. A little bit unorthodox. Except Good Boy got the kill onto the team on that C side. As Fnatic will get the kill on Ipodon's Boy will get the last kill onto Blue Berets. Only two leaving spawn there. It's going to be Bayaz, shut up, and that last player, Ergen. Able to escape and get the, into the fight there on A. He was held up by Barkington. Looks like they're shooting it all far and across, but Fadal will get the final kill in the Bayas trap as Fadal takes out Ergen on A, ending with a nice score for the North American Ultra team, 9 to 6. Interesting, the scrim a lot. It, it's definitely apparent in the strategy that they, they know how to play the game a lot. Their individual skill and their performance is much more kind of, I guess, kind of, what's the phrase I want to use? Milsim esque. It's a much more, I, I personally, it's more style that I like than the like go, 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 like Call of Duty kind of uh, aspect that a lot of the high, high, the high level competitive stuff can kind of end up becoming sometimes. Like a little bit more of the um, change up of strategies and stuff that we're really seeing from Kuzi uh, is And also the pistol strategy working out very, very well for them. Although, I haven't seen them use it yet, but I'm, I'm, I'm waiting. I'm excitedly waiting. Although, my sign and good boy will get the kill onto the team and Ergen out from B. Blueberry will get that trade onto good boy, stopping the push, but boy will get the kill onto Blueberry's in the meantime. Leaving it to now a 2v4. I put on on that backside of B, trying to get in there. We will get on the B cap to start it up. Oh, I put on. Looks like Bayaz shot up, but get the kill onto my sign in the meantime. And Fadoud will get that shot and kill him onto Perez. Shut up. Oh, and Fadoud from down below will get this, get that wall bang and kill onto Ipran. And that is North American Ultra Team taking match point 10 to 6.
Alrighty, so this is match point. This could be the last round. Oh, I hate this. I hate this. This be the last round. We'll see more gameplay. This is really, really good. This could be the last one with Guza Yildiz and the North American Ultra Team. Here comes the grenades from Fadoud. Over towards the subjective here. Really good kind of consecutive fire coming up with the SPD. My son will get that kill in the Bayaz shot up as Bayaz shot up and get the kill in the good boy. But Fadoud will go for the shot and will get the kill in the blue berets on that uh, upper. I'm not sure what that position's called. Well, that's usually a little bit foggy for me a little bit sometimes. Oh, but my son will get that cross shot across into the team. And it's down to Ipran, the last one standing. It is all down to him in a 1v4 scenario. Is this going to be the last round? And yes, it is. For now, we'll get that kill to I put on. And that is GG's as North American Ultra Team secure the second map, 11 to 6. GG's well played. That was a fantastic game. Fantastic series. I am excited to see what happens with Kuza Yildi. North, North American Ultra Team also played very, very well. Uh, I'd expect a lot more from them than I saw today. But still, that was a very, very challenging team that they went up against themselves. So, a little bit unsurprising that they had so much trouble. Still, though, fantastic performances on all sides. Really impressed by both teams and impressed by everybody who played today. Good clutches, good kills, everything back and forth has been super, super high level and really, really fantastic to see. I'm excited to see where Kuza Yildiz play next, and I definitely want to cast their game as soon as possible. And for anybody from a different region, if you want to play Insurgency competitively and you can speak at least a little English of understanding what like live and like not live or like P live, if you, if you can understand those and you're willing to play by the rules, which is like, you know, during the pistol round, you only have a smoke. Or no smokes, no flashes, no grenades, just your pistol and like armor and ammo. If you're willing to do that and play by the rules for the DGL, I am happy to cast everybody, uh, any any region, any kind of language, as long as it's as long as you can tell me what it's like or what it sounds like or what it is supposed to be. I am happy to cast it. So, thank you guys for watching. I have been your caster, Seth Shark, and we'll see you guys on the next map tomorrow, which I believe is going to be. Let me see if I can pull up the thingy, my bobbers. I'm also going to try something a little live that might not work. Uh, it's a little experimental because I uh, may have forgotten to download the file from, uh, what's his name? What's his stinking, what's his heckin' name? That's the Aaron. Yes. I got to download the, uh, mo what is it? Song that, I guess the snippet that he made. So we're going to play it live through Discord because that is, uh, that's how I remembered it because I know it's at least there, I think. Uh, is it in? Which room is it in? Let's see here. Here we go. So there's two of them. I believe they're... Okay, they're good about one minute in total. All right. Fantastic. So I'm going to go ahead and get that set up. Let's go ahead and hop on over to that outro screen. Bow, bow, bow. All right. So let me just check real quick while I get this. I'm going to talk a little bit while we get this set up here. It's going to be that input. Okay, I think I think we're getting this ready to go here. I think we can still hear the game. For some reason, there's a stupid echo on Ministry. It's very, very annoying. Okay, there we go. It's, it's, it's gone now. That is a very, very uh, annoying background sound effect. Not one I am a fan of myself. Here we go. Okay, we have that enabled. Okay, let's see if this works. If there's anything here that shouldn't be played on stream, this is your fault, Aaron. Yes, I can hear it. All right, here we go. Thanks for watching. See you guys. Bit up up, messer poopo, squashy poopo, joint poopo, walk from poopo, free your poopo. When you play me, I use voodoo. Don't come at me because I will fuck you. Messer poopo, squashy poopo, joint poopo, walk from poopo, free your poopo. When you play me, I use voodoo. Don't come at me because I will fuck you. I was, oh, I wasn't even. Hold on, hold on. This one has to be the better one, right? Yeah, this is the better one.
trash. <laughs> Uh, interesting musical performance there by the Aaron post game. Anyways, let's go ahead and start with the uh, actual outro song. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys a little bit tomorrow. So peace out. Hold on. Ah, didn't it did do the thing I wanted it to? There we go.